bad person or not. They they they're not taking it seriously. They still they really think it's a joke of what's happening. Everybody keeps telling them that he's coming. They just keep locking it, keep turning it down, and they don't believe. But they will one day. And I know that it's our job to send the word to them um, and put on the armor of God and to go into battle with the enemy. And if you didn't know the meaning of armor, the meaning, the meaning of armor is the metal covering firmly worn by soldiers and or warriors to protect the body in battle. Amen. And we are soldiers and we are warriors and we go into battle every Day. Because the enemy comes to attack us every single day with temptations. And when we go in, in when we go into battle with the enemy, we have to come protected with our armor on, with our sword, with, with our Bible pretty much, and we have to make sure that we are we are covered. And we have to rebuke and bind him and to tell him that he has no control over us. In verse 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on our of light. Amen. So what I get from this verse 12 is when it says the day is at hand. And I think uh, I think of every single day, as every single day goes by, it's, it's being a day going by that it's getting closer, closer to the time that Jesus is coming. And he's already come for many people because people are steady dying, steady passing away, funerals like every single Saturday. And it's like sometimes it's just shocking to our mind, but now it's like it's like no surprise because of what's going on in the world now. And that's just that's just what I get from that verse. It is it's just time to it's time to stop playing around. Because Amen. it's not no joke Amen. right now. And it's time to give our full life to him and stop playing around. Stop thinking it's a joke. Stop, stop, keep blocking it down. Start interceding like you never have ever did before. Because it's, good, it's good just getting worse and worse in this world. And all we can do is pray now. And sometimes we get tired of praying because we don't, sometimes we don't see anything happening. But something is happening. There is action that are going to happen. We just have to keep believing and keep having faith. Because faith without works is dead. So if we don't put works with that faith in what we believe, then nothing can happen. So if you pray and you don't believe, then it won't happen. So you have to have faith when, when you speak the word of God because we have the power of authority in our tongue. We have authority in our tongue. When we speak, it will happen. It will come to pass and we have faith with it. If we speak with authority and speak to the, to Satan and tell him that he's a liar, that he won't take over our family, that he won't take over the minds of the minds, that he won't take over my family, he has no control, he has no power, because if he has power, it's only because we're allowed to have power. We are warriors, yes. and we are not because we are the we are the king's kid. All right. We are his, yes. we are his God, sons, and daughters. And he is both the most powerful God. He is the only God, the only true one. Yes. And no matter what everybody else is worshiping, I know that He's the only one that I serve. And the Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. not in strife and envy. In verse 12, it says, let us walk honestly. And what I get from that is to be real. I know when my pastor preaches, she preaches real. She doesn't tell you anything fake. When she praises, when she when she prays to God, when she preaches, she, pre she preaches real stuff. And when she praises him, it's not fake praise. It's not fake praise. So when you, be, when you, when you are being honest, Give him a real praise, not a fake praise. Be honest. Walk your, walk your life through. I'm rather walk my life through and be honest to everyone and have, a, have like an attitude, even though I don't, then to be fake and tell them something that will not lead them anywhere. Else. Amen. Because many children, including me, know what's happening around this world. And we know what's going on real. And we can't just, we can't, we can't, we can't play around anymore. It's, it's not time to play around anymore. And we can't, there's no time to play around. There's no time to be joking around. But it's right now, it's time to be serious because of the things that are going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know when also, also, 
God has done so much for me and my family for me to give him a little praise. Amen. I'm thankful at that. I, I can't give him a little praise because he's done too much for my family. Come on, man. And I want to allow him to know that I gave him all that I have because right. I know that if everybody in this world gave their lives to him, that it still won't be enough love for him. So I know that if I can just give him my best effort, if I can give him all of me, then he can put a smile on his face when he look at me. I want to please him. I can do everything. I want to do everything I can to please him because he's done too much for me not to please him. He's done too much for me to give him a praise. I have to give him a real praise. So much. And he's still bringing my family through stuff. And he's still guiding us and leading us no matter what we're going through. He still has our mind. And he just keeps us with that perfect peace. Mm, he just yeah. he just wraps our, our body inside of his arms and he just comforts us every yeah. single day. Come because on, the enemy Come is on. on attack every single day with the temptation. Mm, and every yeah. single thing that we see is just it's just something. He just after us. He don't want us to be happy. He don't want us to praise God. He don't want us to be in this building right now. He doesn't want us to have no glory in our life. He doesn't yeah. want us to lift his name up. He doesn't yeah. want us to God. He doesn't want us to God. He doesn't want us to cry out to him. He doesn't want us to pray. He doesn't want us to love him. He doesn't want us to have faith. He doesn't even want our family to even love each other. He wants everybody to go against each other. Because he does not he doesn't want anything to us. But he is not for us. And he is not for us. That's why we don't praise him. Our family doesn't praise him. And that's why we switch our lives around to God. And we don't praise him anymore. We don't do thanks for him anymore. And we let those things go that we used to do in the past. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust and thereof. Okay. So in verse 14, what I get from that is when it says put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And since the theme of this service right now is to put it on, then I know that put on the Lord, put on the Lord Jesus Christ is to put on the armor of God. Oh! 